politician in history has been treated worse. Investigating the nature of any links between individuals associated with the Trump campaign and the Russian government. President Trump has fired FBI Director James Comey. The president shared classified information with the Russian foreign minister. The president asked his ousted FBI director to end the investigation of former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. That the president told Russian officials in an Oval Office meeting earlier this month that firing Jim Comey as FBI director removed great pressure on him. Department of Justice appointing a special counsel, the man now leading the investigation, former FBI Director Robert Mueller. The investigation of Bill Clinton originally dealt only with the failed land deal known as Whitewater, but ultimately led to Monica Lewinsky. These special counsels are hammers, and they will find nails. Does anyone really believe that the president will leave gracefully with his tail between his legs? No, he will not. We need an exit strategy. It has been reported that the president's friends say he's having no fun at this, that he doesn't enjoy it, and that it's a lot of work. But this is where Mr. Trump is at his best, and nobody is better and rubbing up a crowd than Donald Trump. He gives every indication that he loves running That's for president, but Thank hates you. being time. president. He gets joy out of being called Mr. President, but hates the idea of doing the work of the presidency, which begs the question, how do we get him out of the White House and back onto the campaign trail? How about if he resigns the presidency in a huff? blaming everyone but himself for the failure of his presidency, while noting that it is impossible to drain the swamp from within, that it can be more effective without the constraints of the office of the presidency. Instead of holding office himself, he creates a third party, of which he becomes the Eminence Grise, in other words, the power in the shadows. The line of succession has Mike Pence next in line with Paul Ryan following him. But the very last thing that the Democratic Party wants is to have either of those two fellas running in 2020 as an incumbent. So a backroom deal is struck. All investigations pursuing Donald Trump are stopped. Messrs. Pence and Ryan agree not to take the job of president at this time, and it goes to 83-year-old Aaron Hatch, the next in line, and he performs the function of a caretaker until the 2020 elections. Mr. Trump has a graceful exit leading a third party. The Republican Party rids itself of the Trump nightmare and returns to the business of governance. The Democrat Party has a much clearer path to compete in the 2020 presidential elections, and the rest of the world exhales with a giant sigh of relief.